Hey everyone, this is Ruan. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create perfectly optimized SEO articles using AI. The traditional way of creating SEO articles using AI doesn't necessarily keep in mind the top performing keyword phrases that the client may wanna show up for. And so inside of the tool Splashdash, or in other words, an AI tool that's connected to a lot of different uh, integrations is going to allow you to do this all within one simple conversational format. So I'm going to be bringing you through this with a real client that we have. And that client is a brand called Westlake Dental. So as you can see, this is their uh, business information. Um, so really they're dentists in Potomac Falls, Virginia, and they provide dental implant related services. So as I manage this client, I may want to add different pages on their website for them to rank like things like dental implants. And so what I'm going to do is on their website, I may want to optimize the dental implants page with content of how people search for dental implants, including the terms with the most volume. We want terms that people are going to search and that they're going to click through. And then also a lot of the keywords that people are typing in. But we also want to keep in mind that Google wants to rank custom content and not necessarily plagiarized content. So we want to be very careful when using AI tools to make sure that it's as unique as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Splashdash. And if you haven't used this tool already, it is a wonderful tool that's going to allow us to get a lot of this result. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to give it some information. And generally speaking, when you're using an AI tool, I always recommend starting with this approach where you put a context, you put the role, and then you put the task. And I'm going to give it that instruction. And basically what I'm saying is I'm going to create an SEO article. That article is going to be created by an SEO manager. And I want you to write and optimize articles based on the instructions. And generally speaking, if I were to just go ahead and get this article written, ChatGPT is not going to know enough information about the business or the terms that I'm going to be looking for. And so that's where I'm going to tap into the actual maps data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call on the SERP API and I'm going to type in getting map data on the brand. And what this is going to do is it's going to call on Splashdash's Maps API, and it's going to return all of the Google business profile information from Westlake Dental Care that we found here directly inside of my chat interface. This is critical because what that's going to do is it's going to give me context. And a lot of the times when you're prompting AI, one of the most important things that you can do is to start continuing having this contextual conversation with it so that your prompt becomes more accurate and you have to do less editing and it becomes more optimized. So now inside of the splash dash, you can see that it found the information for Westlake Dental Care and it found the rating. And I can confirm that this rating ID is extremely accurate. The amount of reviews, the description, the address, the phone, the hours, the website URL, the directions, and the GPS coordinates, etc. And it even may pull in some thumbnail information here. So now that I have kind of the goal that I want to set here, I have the context here. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the same API to call on some YouTube videos that the client has. And now the great thing about this is it's going to now put this into the context window different videos that this brand has shared online. And so a lot of these videos include things like an office tour. They include things like service videos. And a lot of the times when we're working with a local client, they will already have a lot of this information. So I'm going to leverage Splashdash's AI to utilize this. And this specific call is going to call on these YouTube videos and summarize each and every single one of them so that I can build my context window to get more out of my output when I'm ready to create an article. And really that's the key here is the more information that's quality, that makes sense, that's factual, that I can provide to Splashdash without having to do too much work, going to different places, organizing information and keeping it all within one chat interface is going to allow me to basically get a really well-written piece of content in this case scenario for this video that I'm showing you without having to do too much work and going to different sources. That's the whole goal of leveraging this AI is that it, you don't have to leave it to find different sources of information. So now what it's going to do is it's going to take all of the information and now I have the maps data, I have the video data, I have the context of what I wanna do here. The next step is going to be finding the keywords that I wanna target for this article. So once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and take the actual splash dash. I'm going to change the context to a tool called SpyFu. If you're not familiar with SpyFu, this is a keyword research tool 
that allows you to find a lot of the different keyword phrases that uh, people are ranking for or showing up for, and it uses PPC to get this information. So I trust SpyFlu when it comes to finding quality keyword phrases, and the benefit of using a tool like Splashdash is it's integrated directly inside of there. So now my prompt is gonna be, what are the keywords related to dental implants? I wanna find the keyword phrases that dental implants are going to be showing up for so that when I prompt this article or this AI to create an article for the dental implant related page, it's going to be using the terms that have potentially the most volume. So now you'll see that I'm going to get a list of the terms and the volume associated with those terms. And I may want to focus my article on writing content around these terms, but I don't want to stop there because now that I know what my main terms are going to be, these are quote unquote, the money keywords, or if you were advertising, these would be the terms that you want to bid the highest for. These are the transactional keywords. These are the ones that are going to get your results. I also want to find some contextual keywords. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask SpyFu to find me question-based keywords for the same topic. And as you'll note, the tool is smart enough to actually know that I don't have to say dental implants again, because at this point, the conversation inside of Splashdash, which is built on ChatGPT4, is actually now already inside of the contextual window. So I don't have to worry about that too much. So now I'm gonna run this action. And what's gonna happen is it's going to give me a list of these question-based keywords that I may wanna add inside of the search results, because when I do so, that's going to give me the featured snippet if I do rank well for that term. And you really wanna use these terms inside of your content, because that's going to answer the patient's questions, or you can make videos about this stuff. However you wanna approach this, I wanna have some question-based keywords inside of there. So with the context here, now that I have the terms, I have the information about the practice, all of the videos were transcribed, I'm now going to do another prompt, and this one is basically just going to be to write an article, an SEO optimized article with all of the keywords mentioned. I want the splash dash to add the popular terms into the headings and bold everywhere a term is mentioned. I really want to make sure the AI mentions these keywords, so I always recommend you to having it bolded. So now that that's in there, uh, the AI is going to go ahead and write that content. And as you can see, it's going to leverage all of the information that it knows about the brand because of the business search. It's going to leverage the bolded terms based on the volume and order. It's going to leverage a lot of the information that it heard from the video. It's going to leverage all of the different question-based keywords. It's going to mention the brand's name as it's writing the content. And then it's going to ensure that all of these phrases are used inside of the content as much as possible. And when you're doing this, you can continue to do this with different services and you can continue to do this with different keywords that the practice or the business or whatever it is that you're working with may want to rank for. So following up, I can say, now let's do this for Invisalign. Then Splashdash would be smart enough to basically input find the top Invisalign keywords, and then it would write an article with the Invisalign keywords prioritized and use the different question-based keywords to organize that information. And so once you have an article that you're happy with and you want to go ahead and continue this, my next step would be I can use a tool like originality.ai, which is an amazing tool. And what it's going to do is it's going to perform an AI scan, a plagiarism scan, and an AI URL scan of the content. The reason I want to do this is because uh, Google has said before that it's not going to penalize AI content, but it will penalize plagiarism and it will penalize content that's difficult to read or difficult to consume. So what this integration allows us to do is it allows us to take content directly inside of the Splashdash uh, view and scan it for originality and provide us with a report of how well that content's gonna perform, how easy it is to read, and then you can take this information and continue this never-ending loop of having the AI uh, produce the content more effectively, or you can make edits on your own to make the content more readable. So this is built in directly, and now what it's doing is it's scanning that originality AI, and then it's going to provide us with a result of how that content will read from a specific uh, SEO viewpoint. So now, as you can see, Splashdash talks to the, the, the uh, API. It goes ahead and grabs that content. I can confirm, and now it's going to return that scan. And of course, it's gonna know that it's written by AI, and you can make edits to make sure that you can lower that detection score. The plagiarism score is a zero, meaning the content that the AI wrote was completely unique. Of course, the brandability helps this. And the content's well-structured with a flesh reading score of 48. 
um, which makes it accessible to a wide audience. Now, of course, anytime you run this iteration, you'll have a button that you can click and that'll bring you to the content scan results. So you can take a look at the content scan and you can look at all of the different things that uh, make this content optimized. You can look at the readability. So if you wanted to optimize this, you can take some of the text here and make it a lot easier. And you can even provide these instructions directly inside of Splashdash and it's going to rewrite the article with your uh, actual instructions. One thing I want to call out is it's not just about the text on the page. It's always about the content, the way it's laid out. Is it unique? And the main thing here is the plagiarism. If content is not plagiarism, plagiarized and you can make it custom and you can add custom videos and you can add custom images and you can add custom graphics using page design here is where your content is really going to shine. Now that you can write these SEO articles pretty effectively, getting those keywords included inside of the headings really quickly with the data that's being mentioned from the different sources that are collecting that data, specifically in this example, SpyFu, Ahrefs, SEMrush, Google Keyword Planner, etc. Now it's all about how are you going to translate this into an effective page design, and that should be where you structure your content, starting with the article and then moving towards the actual design of the page. So. With that being said, that's how you can rapidly execute new articles, new content with terms that people actually are typing in without having to have an account with any of this. If you use Splashdash or you can plug in that information from the outside sources like SEMrush, if you have a subscription with them, et cetera, the benefit of using one chat interface like this is that you don't need an account with any of them and you can get started by moving very quickly. Because if I were to prompt that again and say, hey, now do this with Invisalign, that's the that Splashdash is going to do the same thing. It's going to find the Invisalign terms. It's going to find the related terms. It's going to tie that to the brand. And then it's going to write that article bolding where it's mentioning all of these terms. And then you would just put that onto a page design and monitor those rankings. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.